Hey guys, we're going to build on the drop tuning that we saw earlier and look at actually tuning the guitar up a bit. Now, you've got to be careful with this one as it'll put more tension on the neck. It'll um, possibly stretch a couple of strings out and you can snap strings easily. Now, the amount that we're doing shouldn't make a huge difference. Just pays to check your tuning once you've um, once you've done it. All right. So first off, we're just going to go with the minor again. So we dropped it down to a D minor, but we're going to go up to an E minor. And the reason this one works really well is because all of your stuff stays in the same spot for E. You don't have to think very much, but then your uh, top three strings are very easy to play the fifth, just like the drop D. So rather than turning our um, pegs down, we're going to go up, but only on the strings that you've got your fingers down. So if you want to tune to a chord, you're only going to move the strings where you push down, and you're going to move them exactly as much as they are. We're going to move up two frets, a whole step on each of these. Now, how do I do that? I can have a guess and move up, or I can try moving where I normally tune on the fifth fret up to the seventh fret. Okay, so that is now tuned up to a B. This one. Just giving me some resistance. really easy just a little bit tense as you're tuning up there going you're gonna snap so yeah be aware of that always carry a few spare strings now what we've got now is beautiful riffs are all still here best thing about this is you can essentially strum and solo. So, great fun. everything stays in the same spot. So give it a try. Have a play with your, uh, your E minor. All right, that's the uh, A position. And it just sounds great. There's a lot of harmonized notes in that. This is where this particular tuning is great. I can then go, well, actually let's think, if I've got, I'm in a minor, my fourth and fifth are gonna be minors as well. Really easy. What if I wanna hit a major though? Now, think about it. Normally we had a chord like that for a major. Now I've taken away those two strings and tuned them back. And I've actually just got this first finger here now. All I need to do to do a major is to throw a finger down here. OK, 
Okay, so you're doing these bar chords just with one extra note. All right, we've got ourselves a really cool alternative tuning. What else can be done with it? There's some epic, epic spots here that we can actually hit these harmonic notes. Okay, you've got here, everything is in tune. All right, so you can muck around with your harmonics, really cool. going to be in tune so you don't even have to think about it. Alright, one of my other absolute favourites with this, E harmonic minor. Beautiful harmonised notes running down all three. So I'm actually playing each one of those E strings now, being three of them. So have a muck around with that harmonic minor as well. Now, the other thing that I want to touch on is where does your scale go on these strings? Now, what I want you to think about is what mode is it? Okay. Now this, all right, it's going to be our fifth. Fifth mode up is going to be a Phrygian. All right. Awesome, hey? And this one is just going to be your minor. All right, so there's not a lot of thought going into that one. All you really need to remember is this one is now Phrygian. Okay, so one tiny little shift, that's it. Have a lot of fun with that one. Be careful not to overuse it like I did. Um, I just about had an entire album written with that. Have fun. I'll see you next time.